checks in and they confirm the voter is registered is the, the poll worker will then um, pick the ballot that that particular voter is entitled to vote. And they program the card with the ballot and they hand that to the voter. And then the voter goes to this station, which is the, the ballot marking device. And they insert the card in the ballot marking device and then they get to start voting. So they vote, and of course these aren't the real candidates, this is just the demo, but they vote for just the Supreme Court, we'll say Les Paul, and they go next, and then they get a proposition, this one is whether Wisconsin should buy the Upper Peninsula from Michigan, obviously it's uh, fictional, they say yes, and then they get the opportunity to review their vote, and if they want to change their vote, they can change it quite easily by just clicking the change button, but in this case the voter says that's exactly what I wanted, I'm ready to print my ballot. So that gets saved to the card, and then they take the card over to this station here to actually print the ballot. And it's when they insert the card into this device to print the ballot, at the same time, the data, the voting data, is encrypted by our election guard technology. So that's been encrypted and saved, that data. Um, it's also printing a paper ballot in this version of the technology created by voting groups. And the voter gets two pieces of paper. The first is the ballot, and they get a chance to confirm that the ballot actually represents their vote. And once they've confirmed that, and they know it's accurate, they just put it in the ballot box. But they also get this, and this is provided by the Election Guard technology. And this is unique. This is their tracking code. And this is the code they can use either by entering the code or by scanning the QR. And they can enter this when the election is complete, later tonight or tomorrow, and they will get a confirmation that their vote was actually counted and not changed.